I guess I don't have to scream. Hi, I'm Mitchell Kaplan. I want to welcome everybody to Books and Books. This is our store in beautiful downtown Carl Gables, which is actually part of Miami. Um, if you look down the street where those gray awnings are, that was where we opened 36 years ago. We moved to this location about 20 years ago, and this is in a historic building, uh, historic for Carl Gables, which means 1920s. Um, it's a beautiful Mediterranean-style building, and we operate the bookstore and the cafe, which is right around the courtyard. If you come on in, I'll show you that we have a kind of, uh, in our atrium here, we have a newsstand where we keep all of our magazines. I've always liked the idea of outdoor newsstands. Um, it's, always, it's always meant a lot to me to be able to browse outside. I remember in the early days of, uh, there's a marvelous store that still exists in Los Angeles called Book Soup. And I remember they had this whole wall of an outdoor newsstand before you came into the bookstore. And that always impressed me. So if you look out into the courtyard, it's kind of a gray day here in Miami. But the bar becomes energized at night when we have uh, we sell wine and beer. And on Friday and Saturday nights, we do music in the courtyard. Until then, it's, um, it's used outside for people to eat from our cafe. And then you can enter the bookstore. There are three different ways of entering the bookstore to my right or my left, and then straight ahead as well. The demographic in Carl Gables is uh, that it's part of Miami, so we really um, try to draw people from all over Miami-Dade County. Although the University of Miami is near us, and across the street we have this wonderful, wonderful uh, cinema as well. So here, when you walk in this way, you come into, it's kind of what I call um, almost like a showroom of books. If you don't want to browse the whole store and you want to wander into the bookstore um, and pick something out really quickly, uh, we have uh, all of our hardcover fiction in here, and then we have uh, some nonfiction. We have our indie-bound bestsellers. That's what we use as our bestseller list. Um, and we have a number of other things. We have uh, tables of nonfiction. There's been some remarkable as we all know, new books that have come out recently. Um, as a real skeptic, this is one that has appealed to me, along with uh, Rebecca Traister's new book, someone that I have always admired. And of course, uh, there's Leonard Cohn's new one uh, called The Flame. Um, he's someone that I've uh, always been a very big fan of. So this, this is kind of the main room of the bookshop. And the idea behind developing the store uh, was that I wanted to create the sense of a library, uh, one of a, almost like a personal library, that um, if you had the money, you would build for yourself and attach it to your house. So there's that sense of discovery that we have as well as you walk through the store, uh, which is broken up into a number of different rooms you can see the store as you go through. So one of, the, one of the hallmarks of what we've done for years and years, almost from the beginning, is sell art, architecture, and design books. And if you look at this whole section to my left into my right, it's all basically art, architecture, and design, as all the tables have books about that, too. We also have arrangements with various publishers uh, where we highlight their books, even though the same book is within the section, we create um, uh, branded displays. So you can see one for Rizzoli, one for DAP. Uh, you can see one for Thames and Hudson, uh, one for Abrams, and all that sort of thing. We have also an arrangement with New Directions. So we have all of the New Directions books uh, basically in one place. Although. If it's poetry, there's also a copy in the poetry section and the fiction section as well. The other thing cool about our, our rooms is that everything that you've seen here is on wheels. And we do about three to 400 events a year, mostly out of this store. And uh, all of these things can be arranged and moved so that we can create. 
We can seat up to about 150 people in this room. Uh, we have a mic system. We also are we also live stream. So if you look up there in the middle uh, on the top shelf, you'll see we have three cameras positioned uh, around the room for live streaming. And that's done remotely, believe it or not. Uh, so the live streaming is done off site and the cameras are um, remotely controlled. Um, so uh, there's a number of art books out now that are quite intriguing. There's one that I'm very, very high on. Uh, this is by Rachel Cobb, and it's called Mistral, uh, the leg legendary wind of Provence. And it's really, really a beautiful book that I hope everybody uh, gets behind. It'll be a, she, uh, Rachel is a remarkable photographer as well as a photojournalist. And um, I think this for us is going to be a very big book for the holiday season. Um, not to mention a book that is very, very exciting for us locally because Architect Konica is an architecture firm uh, that is worldwide now, but they started in Miami and uh, they're quite remarkable. And um, uh, Rizzoli just came out with a big tome about all of their stuff. And what would a bookstore in Miami be like without books on Cuba, right? So one of the things we always try to do is corner the market on everything having to do with Cuba. And this is an old book, but a book that continues to sell the houses of old Cuba. There are also uh, some phenomenal books by Michael Connors on the interiors of Cuba. And then it gets even more specific. For instance, DAP has a book called Cuba La Lucha. And uh, the photographs here are quite remarkable, too. So, so this is what we call our art room, more or less, art and design room. Uh, we also do have something very cool. We have a partnership with this group here called Exile. And Exile, um, um, what they do is they do artist books, and they uh, promote artist books all throughout Miami. And so we let them curate this marvelous uh, piece that they uh, created for us. And so this whole display is made up of artist books or books um, that are published uh, in more than one or two or three copies, but are done uh, by artists. And they even have this great piece where you can open it up, and there's a stool here as well. Um, so let's go back out, and I'll show you how you enter the store from the other side if you come in. See here people sitting out in, the, uh, in our atrium here. And so here's how you enter the other way into the bookstore. And uh, on this side, we continue our artist theme. We have a, a big arrangement with Asseline, the French publisher. And this is uh, what we call our Asseline room. But we also use it, uh, this main table, we also use uh, for reading groups and other groups who might want to meet uh, in this room and have a little quiet. Um, we also have a cafe. We also have a very special table, which I'd like to show you. I'm sure every bookstore has it. But this is a table that I started years ago with, uh, it's called, it's sort of call it the cultural icon table. It started when we had, uh, we had Jimmy Carter here and Hillary Clinton and Bill Clinton. But then we have uh, like Kurt Vonnegut and Edward Albee. Uh, we even have uh, the, the day that Paul McCartney came into the store. Uh, there's a really, f my f favorite little signing thing is we have Laura and George Bush here, and then when Rachel Maddow came, she signed right under George Bush and put a little heart, <laughs> which was really interesting, I thought. Uh, Salman Rushdie, uh, Maya Angelou, it goes on and on and on. David Brinkley, um, Ellie Wiesel, some people are no longer with us, unfortunately. But I have kind of an interesting... Uh, thing that we've been able to do. Um, then, then, as you wander into here, we've always
always had a gallery space. And um, right now, uh, every, one, the first Friday of every month is gallery night. Last night was gallery night. And this is a show of photography. Uh, and it's a photography of images of Havana. And uh, it's Modesto Broillo. And uh, he actually uh, was a graduate of the University of Havana. And I think, I believe he lives in Cuba now. Uh, and came up and hung this show. Um, and as I say, we change the show once a month. Hi, how are you? We change the show once a month. And this is our children's room, which we're very proud of. And uh, families come and kind of hang out. We do storytelling like, like all bookstores do. And uh, we have a lot of children's author events. You can see up on the walls, these are... Uh, drawings like from Mark Brown and a um, bunch of Harry Bliss and a bunch of others. In fact, right over here, too, uh, Eric Carle and, uh, uh, and others. There's Mo Willem up there. And we've always, uh, it's always been a very um, heartening thing when we see the next generation of uh, readers being developed. One of the series that we've been doing really, really well with is Brad Meltzer's new series, uh, you know, the I Am series. Uh, I am Neil Armstrong. I am uh, Sonia Sotomayor. I am everybody. And he hopes to get to about 100 of them. So, hi. How are you? Come on in. How are you? Good. We also have the bathrooms here, too. <laughs> um, and then when we come back out here, one of the things we do is we sell, um, we sell gift items as well. And we, as a bookstore, uh, try to sell things that are a little more unusual. We do, th we do do jewelry and other things like that. You can see them over here. One of the biggest selling gift items that we have had, though, is our Dammit doll, and uh, you recognize him. But when you're frustrated, you can just go, damn it, damn it. So it, for me personally, it's been able to get a lot of my hostility out, particularly these days. But actually, it's been a huge seller. They actually have one of uh, some of the other world leaders, too. But for some reason, oh, really? our dear yeah. president yeah. seems to work the best um, and sell the best. So in this room, we have. A lot of other sections, biography. We actually keep our young adult books out of the children's section. They're in the young adult section, which is here in, the main, in one of the main rooms. Come on through. Hi. And um, history. And then all, along all these walls here are paperback fiction, paperback mystery. Uh, and then it flows into other sections. And on these freestanding cases, there are other sections as well. We have display. Um, we have some displays too. Um, we sell remainders. Uh, and again, in this room, everything is on wheels and portable and movable. We also have cameras to do live streaming. And in this room, we can fit probably about 250 people. It's a bit bigger than the other room. Um, So come on over here, and I, I want to um, I want to take you through. I want to take you and have you meet George Henry, who's working. But uh, as he's working, maybe George Henry can say a few things about uh, what he's excited about as being a bookseller. I like every Tuesday because every Tuesday there are new books that come in. And it's very hard to um, restrain myself, put it that way. But the best thing about working in the bookstore is you're surrounded by books constantly, which is my, my version of heaven. Books so. over people. Books oh, I love people, but <laughs> I love books too. And George does uh, a really great job of, uh, of communicating his likes to everybody else at all the stores. And everybody seems to follow what 
his recommendations. Uh, what are you recommending I, these days? Um, uh, Steve Cole, uh, director at S, which is his follow-on to Ghost Wars about Afghanistan. It's fantastic. And it was just nominated for a... Um, it's on the long list on for the, the National Book Award. Yeah. And he's coming to the Miami Book Fair as well. Oh, he is? Yep. I'm going to be working here, so I won't be able to get there. Well, we'll let you, we'll, maybe we'll give you a break and see him for that. Okay. So the way the store works, it's a perfect U. So if we go through this room, uh, you will see we also sell cards and T-shirts and reading glasses and a bunch of other stuff, too. And then this is our cafe. This is kind of the back end of the cafe area. Um, and these are the fine folks working in the cafe. You guys can wave to uh, Facebook. Hi, how are you? Good. Nice to see you, yeah. Hi, Susan. We're doing a Facebook Live thing here. Oh, yeah, no, I'll take in a minute. I'll take in a second. If you want to put it at a table, that would be great. That would be great. And then um, here's the cafe. And people work and do their thing. And um, these, are, these photographs along the wall are people... 99.9% .9 of the people who've actually appeared in the bookshop. There's a photo of Tolstoy, and of course he wasn't here. But these were mostly taken by um, a really good friend of the store named Susie Horgan, who has a marvelous book out called Punk Love, which Rizzoli uh, publishes as well. We, in the early days, we did a, a photo exhibition with Allen Ginsberg, and I should have probably bought all of the ones that we had, but I did buy two. One is of the poet Robert Creeley, and the other is a self-portrait he took with all of his friends in Morocco. And what he actually did is wrote on each one of the images, uh, which is what he did with most of his photography. There's um, John Cage, I remember the day, that was in the old store, when we did an event with him. Isaac Singer was our very first author event. Although that's a photo by Michael Carback taken uh, when Isaac was teaching. Those are the hands of Eric Carl as he's signing a book. Gloria Vargas Llosa, Manuel Puig, and the wonderful Robert Gottlieb in the middle, the publisher. Um, and then in here we keep our travel section and cookbook section as well. So you can see, if you walk with me, you'll see that it's it's a complete circular, it's a complete circle, basically, that we've just made of the bookshop. Um, and I think what I'll do uh, for just a few minutes, if we if we sit down, I can tell you about a couple of things that we do at the store that might be of interest. Um, we are very involved with the Miami Book Fair, which is coming up this November. So during the Miami Book Fair, we have probably about four, 450 writers that come to downtown Miami. Uh, and all of those writers uh, make presentations. Oh, thanks. And just a bottle of water would be great. So this is, a, this is grilled cheese made on, uh, with Zach's bread. Zach is a local baker. And uh, he's really phenomenal. And one of my favorite things to have is grilled cheese. Um, so the Miami Book Fair. So the Miami Book Fair is happening November 11th through the 18th. And as I say, we have lots of different uh, authors coming. Instead of me trying to remember all of them, just go to MiamiBookFair.com and you can find out. Uh, it's not too late. There are still hotel rooms available. So it's not too late to come. Uh, we get people from all over. Thank you. Thanks. We get people from all over who do come. Um, the other thing that um, that we do is we do a number of off-site events like most stores do, and we're presenting this fall Annie Leibovitz and Sally uh, Field and a bunch of others. Um, the other thing that we've just started here at the Books and Books, we have a podcast now called The Literary Life, and you can uh, hear that podcast wherever podcasts are heard. And lastly, one of the things that we've gotten into, too, is we formed a kind of um, a film company called the Mazer Kaplan Company. And uh, 
we do all books into film. And you've probably seen uh, posters all around the store for our, uh, our most recent film that's out on Netflix called The Guernsey Literary and Potato Peel Pie Society, which is based on, uh, based on a book. Uh, we're filming right now a book called All the Bright Places by Jennifer Niven, which is a phenomenal book uh, as well. Um, and that's starring Al Fanning and Justice Smith and a number of other people. Um, we also, you're looking at our Carl Gable store, but in Miami you'll find a number of different books and books if you want to come. And they're all different, so you can feel like you're in many, many different stores, even though they're called books and books. We have one on South Beach, we have one in Coconut Grove, we have one in Bell Harbor, and a few of those stores also have cafes too. Um, and uh, I want to thank all of you for taking this little tour with me. Uh, thanks for being here. If you need to reach me for any reason whatsoever, you can reach me at Mitchell at booksandbooks.com. We do have a website, booksandbooks.com. And um, I appreciate the ABA and HarperCollins for making this tour of Books and Books possible.